Hello, friends. We are back with the video on leveraging your Notion tool for your real estate listings. So let me take you right into my dashboard. I've got the Ultimate Agent Hub here, which is a comprehensive Notion dashboard for real estate agents within Notion. You can find the link down below, but I'm going to get right into it and show you a few different ways that you can really leverage this powerful tool for organizing your listings and feeling productive and not letting anything fall through the cracks. So have on your main page a section where you can see your active listings at a glance because as real estate agents every day we should be checking in on all of our listings. So right in the morning when you open your main dashboard you should be able to see all of your listings at a glance and you can check in on each of them. So let's say for this property at 737 Baking Avenue. The first tip that I would use for listings, especially with Notion AI, which is extremely powerful, is to leverage this tool to create your listing description or even create any advertisement, any copywriting that you need done for this listing. So I've created a button here that will automatically input the, ne the necessary information to create a listing description. So let me click on this button here. So use AI to write a real estate listing description to attract real estate buyers based on the property details below. Make it sound exciting. <laughs> All right. So you can also edit this however you want. If you want a different tone to your messaging and to your listing descriptions, you can tell Notion to adopt the tone that you wanted to adopt. Okay. So once I have this prompt i would input all of my property details here anything that i want to be included in my listing description and then i would ask notion to generate that for me i'm going to do a quick example here i'm going to fast forward so you guys don't have to wait for me but i'm going to input all the property details and then ask notion ai to generate a listing description for me so click generate there we go so there's our listing description took just a few minutes for me to input the necessary information and then Notion AI has created a very attractive listing description for me, which I can go in and edit as I need. But, but yeah, this is a great, great tool. I would highly recommend leveraging this within your business. I have another video, which I'll link right above here, giving you a lot of other ways that you can leverage Notion AI in your business as a real estate agent. All right, let's move on. The Second way that I would leverage Notion for your listings as a real estate agent would be to keep a running list of tasks for your listing. So I'm back in my listing here and I will click into the client that this, that this listing is related to. All right, so let's go into Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars's page in my seller CRM. And then this is where I have put in all of the tasks that I need to track and check off for a listing. So you don't want anything to fall through the cracks. You want your clients to to feel like you have got their listing handled and they don't need to worry about it because it's in your hands, right? And so you as a real estate agent do not want to let anything fall through the cracks. And so this is why it's super important to keep a running checklist, even if it's just a simple checklist like this, to keep that checklist always on the go so that you can make sure that you've done everything that you need to do for the listing, right? So typically real estate agents have their standard checklist of things. So just bringing that into Notion and having everything in one place makes things so easy. Okay, so as I go, I can check things off. This is like setting it up when it's coming soon, when it's just listed, and then once offers has been accepted and property sold. So I wanna make sure that I'm checking everything off. You could also, Add it into your task database. If that's something that you have in Notion, you can bring these into your master task database in Notion. It's according to your preference. So if you'd rather just have a little checklist, really easy, you just go into your, to your client's page and you have it all there, you can do that. Or what I do is instead of having it as a checklist item, I'll bring it into my task manager so that then I can view this piece of information anywhere in my Notion workspace. So I would go into my tasks here. So this is just another view of my task database. 
and I will be able to see prepare open house. So this task is connected to Bruno Mars's page because it's a task that I've connected to him. And then I'll see all the tasks that I need to do for all of my clients. So that can be a little bit easier for some people. If you have several different listings and you need to keep track of the tasks for all of them, you could just bring them in to your master task manager so that you have one place that you need to look and you don't need to look in all of the different listing pages and seller pages. Okay. Another amazing way that I would leverage Notion for your listings would be for actually keeping track of your commissions. So once a property sells, I can go into my transaction manager here, which is the database that actually contains all the listings. So when I go here and I see the gallery view with a notion of all my listings, this is actually coming from my transaction manager, which is where I keep all of the addresses that I've transacted on or am transacting on or have listed for sale. So all the property transactions are here and you'll see <clears throat> 737 Baking Avenue that we were just in is here. And then the way that I've made only my active listings show up here in my main dashboard is by having a filter on that includes only the transactions that are live listed for sale, that have the status of live listed for sale. This gallery does not include anything but those listings. Okay, so if I go back into my transaction manager, this is a great place to keep all of your commission information. And you can have everything, you can see everything at a glance. So here, I would include my firm sale price. So let's say for one dance road for Alicia Keys, she's a seller. The firm sale price of her house was $1 million. My side of the commission is 2%, for example. So you can input all these numbers, right? So 2%, my split of that commission percentage is 70%. And then that calculates the gross commission of 20,000. And then the net commission of 14,000 based on your split. And then you can also include how this contributes to your yearly GCI goal. So if I go into closing in 2023, I'll have portion of GCI goal. So each property that is that has sold in 2023 is contributing a certain percentage to my yearly GCI goal. So let's say my yearly GCI goal, I'm just going to go in and edit this formula so you guys can see. So in this case, this 2.5 exponential 5 means that I have a commission goal of 250000 And then this is the formula that I've created to calculate the percentage of that GCI goal. So 20,000 divided by 250,000 is 8%. And then if I look at all of these percentages added up at the bottom here, I have the sum function added there. So the sum is 22.4. So I'm at 22.4% of my total GCI goal for the year when I only include the 2023 transactions, right? Make sense? So yeah, great way to keep track of your commission. And then I can go down here and tap myself on the back for all the properties that I sold this year. And it's just a gallery view to give you a little visual reward when you look at what you've sold. So that's it. Those are three great ways that you can leverage Notion in your real estate business for your listings. I invite you to check the links down below or to connect with me on social media. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to let me know that you want more videos like this. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.